What is up guys? Welcome back to another recap video where I will be recapping week 5 of the college football season. Or week 2 for SEC fans. Or week 0 for Big Ten. This season's a confusing season. But you get what I'm saying. Let's hop straight into it. I hate to keep y'all waiting. Let's start with number 2 Alabama versus number 13 Texas A&M. Alabama defeated Texas A&M 52-24. If you do not know, I'm an Alabama fan, so very happy with this one. Mac Jones played spectacular. He had over 400 yards, 4 touchdowns. Very, very good. Had 3 very pretty long ball touchdowns. He just played very good. Jalen Waddle played very good. He had a, he had a uh, long touchdown. John Mechie came out as a star, had two long touchdowns and a, almost 200 receiving yards. Texas A&M looked all right. Some of the points they got were just Alabama making mistakes. But Alabama looked very, very good. Very, very good. Definitely a top two to three team in the nation in my mind. And maybe I'm biased because I'm an Alabama fan, but I, th I think most people can admit Alabama is a top three team. And they showed it versus Texas A&M. On to our next game. Number 9 Texas went on to play TCU. And in our biggest upset of the week. TCU upset a top 10. Number 9 Texas. 33-31. to Wow. What a game. What a game. Uh, Texas has already lost Oklahoma. We'll get to them in a second. But Texas has already lost a game. They were number, they're they're number nine, like I said, and it does not look good for the Big Twelve right now for playoff chances. Their top two competitors coming into the season have already had a loss. Not looking good. TCU played a very good ball game. Texas played a sloppy one, and TCU put out with the put out with the win, 33-31. Next game we have Oklahoma versus Iowa State. Oklahoma took the L last week versus Kansas State in an upset. And they get upset again by Iowa State. 37-30. to Iowa State beats Oklahoma. Absolutely making my preseason college football predictions look absolutely ridiculous. Because I predicted Oklahoma to go to the, to the playoffs. Making that look absolutely ridiculous. This is the first time Iowa State has beat Oklahoma since 1960. I believe I read that on an article somewhere. I wrote that down. I hope that's true. <laughs> but yes, very surprising upset. And it looks like Oklahoma's already been knocked out of the playoff race this early in the season. So, that's interesting. Did not expect that. Spencer Rattler, for the second time in a... In two weeks, through a game-winning interception, I had him predicted to win the Heisman, so that doesn't look good on me. Or, I had him predicted to come finish second in the Heisman, but I wouldn't be surprised if he finished first. But, that was preseason, not looking too good right now. He does not look too hot. But yeah, Iowa State beats Oklahoma, that's surprising. In our game of the week, number 7 Auburn versus number 4 Georgia. Georgia stomped all over Auburn in a 27 to 6 ball game or 24 to 6. I believe it's 27 to 6. 27 to 6 ball game Georgia beat Auburn. Auburn's d offense could not do anything. Bo Nix could not move the ball. Auburn's offense didn't do anything. It, it couldn't. They scored 3 points in the first half, 3 points in the second half. Absolutely embarrassing for the Auburn Tigers. Georgia, they looked pretty good with Stenson. They looked all right. Their offense didn't look like the greatest thing in the world, but they looked all right. They got the win, and they ended up winning by three scores, and you can't knock them for that. So, yeah, Georgia looks like they're going to be a tough team to play. They go, they're going to play uh, Tennessee this week, and they go on to play Alabama in two weeks, so that's going to be interesting. Georgia really proved themselves with a quality win. Moving on to our next game, number one Clemson plays Virginia in a conference game, and Clemson defeats them 41 to 23. Kind of a sloppy game for Clemson, expecting them to be the number one team in the nation and all that. I think they played 
better than Clemson fans are giving them credit. But it was not a perfect game. I will say that. It was not a perfect game. But they did pull out the win, and that's what matters. Now they have to go play number seven, I do believe now, Miami. That's going to be interesting. But yes, Trevor Lawrence looked amazing last night. Looked like a Heisman candidate. Looked like a Heisman front runner. Wink, wink. But, Clemson looked pretty good last night. Gotta give them props. Now let's move on to some of these other games. I'm going to re recap real, real quick. Number three, Florida played South Carolina, and Florida won by 14 points, 38 to 24. Uh, South Carolina scored some on their defense, which I didn't expect. Florida offense looked good as ever, what I expected. Number 21, Tennessee played Missouri, and Tennessee won very convincingly, 35 to 12. They actually beat them worse than Alabama did. I'm not saying Tennessee is better than Alabama. I'm not crazy. But I'm saying Tennessee does, did, looked very impressive in that game. That's what I'm trying to say. Ole Miss versus Kentucky. A thriller, if you cared about this game. I, but seriously, a thriller. Both offenses look pretty hot. But Lane Kiffin and the Ole Miss Rebels pulled out the win in overtime, 42-41. Number six, Mississippi State played Arkansas. And Arkansas beat Mississippi State, or Miss State wasn't 6, they were 16, my bad. Number 16, Mississippi State played Arkansas, and Arkansas won 21-14. to Really surprised me, another big upset. This is the first conference game Arkansas has won in three years. The last time they won a conference game was 2017. That's absurd. And they finally beat Mississippi State. The people who overthrew beat the defending champions last week. So now I get to brag to my LSU fans using this logic, saying Arkansas is better than LSU. Is Arkansas better than LSU? Probably not. But Arkansas has looked very impressive through two weeks so far. They held it close with Georgia for a half, for one half and half of the third quarter maybe. And then they beat Mississippi State. Just a very impressive win. I'm glad Arkansas won, a game, won an SEC game. I feel bad for them. But then, number 20 LSU versus Vanderbilt. LSU blew them out the water, 41-7. to Miles Brennan looked pretty good, but to be fair, it's Vanderbilt. But, that has been my recap for the week. What are your thoughts on the, this week of college football? And what did you think? And tell me how your team did, if your team lost, if your team won. Blah, 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 blah. But I will be signing off. Thank you for watching. Peace out.